Let us discuss an example from the projection of solids. I have taken the example, draw the projection of a triangular prism of base 30 mm and height 50 mm resting on one of the vertical face perpendicular to VP. What they are given is, we have to draw the projection of the triangular prism. From here we can know this is a prism. And what is the diam uh, the dimensions of the prism is base is 30 mm and the height is 50 mm. And what they are given is one of the vertical faces perpendicular to VP. Let me know what is the vertical face of the triangle. We know the vertical face of the triangle is this is the vertical face. This is the vertical face of the triangle. These or this. These two are the vertical face of the triangle. So, what they are saying is, this face is perpendicular to VP. VP, this is vertical plane and this is horizontal plane. So, now this should be perpendicular. Now, this vertical face is parallel to VP. This is VP line. Now, look at this. This is this line is this is or this is the vertical plane of the triangle. This is now 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 this is parallel to VP. And what we want is this vertical face should be perpendicular to VP. So how I am going to draw is let me draw in some other way so that that would be parallel. Yeah. Now look at this, this is the vertical plane, this is the vertical plane and now this is perpendicular to VP, this is perpendicular, this plane is perpendicular to VP and we need any one of the planes should be perpendicular to VP, we are getting both the planes perpendicular to the VP, that is no matter, ah, this is HP, I repeat, this is HP and this is VP, what we want to achieve is, we have to draw a triangular prism with one of its vertical face perpendicular to VP. This is the vertical face and this should be perpendicular to VP. If I draw in some other way, I will be getting parallel to VP. The vertical face will be parallel to VP. So, only one way to draw this triangle. This is the vertical face and this is perpendicular to VP. We have achieved it. So, Finally, we are going to draw this prism and we are going to project it. And how I am going to project this prism is, let me draw an axis, this reference line x, y plane. This is vertical plane, we know, this is horizontal plane. And I have drawn the prism of size 30 mm and one of its vertical faces perpendicular to VP same thing I have drawn here and I am going as this is a prism this is the solid prism so solid will be having both base and the top now let me name it for the top face let me take this point as A, B and C but I am going to name the bottom face also. How I am going to name is that. Let me take some other name. P, Q, R. As this is bottom, from top view, we could not see the bottom face. So, I am giving it in brackets. This P, Q and R are below the A, B and C respectively. Let me show an example. This is the solid. And I have taken this, we have from, uh, this is the top view, top view of the solid, this is the top view of the solid. If I see from here, I will be seeing only a rectangle. And same rectangle is present at the bottom also. Behind this and another rectangle is present as this is a solid. So, I have named this as A, B, C, D. Behind A, I have named P, Q or S. So, this is A, this is P. This is B, this is Q. C or D, S. Yes. 
likewise I have name and for triangular prism I have name A below A P is that and B below B Q is that so I have name as this is present behind the solid that is behind the top face I have given in bracket this is the way how we have to represent in the engineering graphics now I am going to project this solid for projection just project all the points to the reference line this is the first step how I have projected this I have projected the A if I project the point C I am getting this projection on the surface of A so if I project C this is behind see now let me show you I have to project this point I have projected this is dash I have projected in the dash line see I have projected A in dash line why because if we look from the front if we look from the front we will be able to see only C and B point we can't see the point A so I have projected in dotted lines but if I but this I can't see this point A but I can I will be able to see the point C this C falls on the point A so if I project this line I will be the dash line will be also there but the dash line will be covered by the point C and what is the length of the prism length of the prism is 50 50 mm so I am going to project this up to 50 mm let me say 50 mm projected up to 50 mm this is this length is 50 mm and now I am going to you can project the axis also as well uh, the axis will be at center you can project this sorry axis this is the axis okay. axis should be represented with a dash dot and dash dot and dash and uh, I have drawn I have projected all the points now I am going to name how I got this is I have see if I project this triangle I am going to see this in front view this is top view I have seen here if I uh, if I see from front what is the front view I will be getting is see this is the front view from front I am going to see this so same triangle I have projected at the top and this is the front view front view is nothing but the same solid if I if I have projected this solid and if you look from the front what I am getting is I will be getting like this this point will be here see P is at bottom P point is at bottom so P dash and R is behind sorry we will be seeing R and P is behind R so P dash R dash and B we can see here Q Q we can see Q dash and this will be A will be behind C A dash C dash and B this we can see this is the top view of the rectangular this is triangular prism what I did is I repeat the step one is draw the reference line mark it as x y something and draw the dimensions of the triangular prism this is given 30 mm this is 30 mm this dimension is 30 mm and I am going to I have given name a b c and the bottom faces p q r if I project the b point I projected B till the 50 mm this uh, as this is the uh, 50 mm I have projected 50 mm because the length of the the height of the prism is 50 so this is 50 this is the top view what is the top view I am getting is same triangle if I see from the see this is the rectangular prism but 
what is the top view I am getting is a tri uh, rectangle. I am getting a rectangle. So I can this is the true face. This is the rectangle I am getting. And if I want to see the front view, I am projecting the points. A point is behind the point C, so I can see only C point if you look from this direction. So I have marked the point R, R, R dash I will be seeing, Q dash I will be seeing. The point P is behind R, so I have marked in a bracket. C dash I will be seeing, B dash I will be seeing and behind C, A will be there. Thank you.